today. Our family had a big week. And my sister baby Hooper White. We made this funny picture. I've been spending lots of time with her. Mommy says I am a big helper. Speaking of, I don't have much time as the baby needs me. Today's lesson will be a little shorter, but it's so important. As we're talking about Palm Sunday! <laughs> oh, hi, Freddy. I didn't know you'd be coming. Yeah, I heard the lesson is about Palm Sunday, and it's one of my favorites. I just had to come help. Okay, well let me read what Palm Storm is about. And you see, a you can fill in the missing blanks. Okay. Easter is when we celebrate the... Resurrection! That Jesus rose from the dead. This week, we celebrate... <gasps> Palm Sunday! What is Palm Sunday, you ask? When Jesus came into... Jerusalem! I think I'm... And the people waved palm branches and shouted banana. Banana. Oh wait, Freddy. <laughs> they didn't shout banana. Oh, I thought it's okay. But the word is actually Hosanna. Oh, Hosanna. That makes more sense. What does that mean? It's an expression for adoration, praise, or joy. And the word Hosanna is from the Hebrew word Hosanna, which means to save or rescue. So the people were singing a song of praise, asking Jesus to save them? Why were they shouting that? Listen to the story in your seat. As they approached Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord needs it and will send it back to you shortly. Then they went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at the doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them, and the people let them go. They brought the donkey and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloak along the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. At first, his disciples did not understand all of this. Only after Jesus was glorified did they realize that these things had been written about him and that these things had been done to him. People were so confused about who Jesus was. The prophets had been telling them that the Messiah, the Savior, would come. Many people thought that the Messiah would save the people from the Roman government who had forcefully taken over their country. When they realized that he wasn't going to be the kind of king they wanted, they turned on him. But although Jesus was the promised coming king, the one who would save them all, it was in a different way than they expected. See, Jesus had in mind a heavenly kingdom, an eternal kingdom. He came to save all people, but not from earthly rulers, but from their sins that rule over all their lives. Jesus will sacrifice himself for the sins of the whole world and make a way for mankind to be made right with God. And so we shout, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So that's why they shouted Hosanna. They didn't quite understand at the time. Jesus will be laying his life down. Easter was coming to him. And he will soon understand the full instant of his love and of his plan. We'll celebrate at that part of the story next week. Can't wait. Until then, have a great week, friends. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.